everyone. My name is Etienne. I'm a web dev at Microsoft, and I'm going to talk to you about Vorlon.js. But first, let me remind everyone here that web is awesome, not only because it's full of kittens, but also because it's the most cross-platform technology in the world, and maybe in the universe. I'm still checking on that. Because of that, you can reach a, really a lot of different devices, different browser, different size of devices, and uh, you need to be sure that your code is running properly on every of these devices and uh, browsers. On desktop, it's really easy. You just uh, launch your favorite browser, and then you need F12, and you have a lot of great tools in the console, the DOM Explorer, and stuff like this to uh, debug your, your, your site. But w when it comes to mobile, it's, it's a bit different. You have two uh, alternatives. The first one is proprietary tools, um, but you, you need to plug using USB your device on, the, on your computer, and then you can use Safari to debug Safari for mobile and stuff like this. Uh, and you can use uh, also Wainry, which is a remote debugger, but uh, it's not really easily extensible, and you have to use a specific browser for the dashboard part. <clears throat> That's why me and uh, a bunch of friends, a friend of me, uh, decided to create Vorlon.js, which is a cross-browser, cross-platform, and open-source, remote web JavaScript debugging tools. That's really easy to say. And uh, so how, how does it work? It's really easy. You have a dashboard which is built on top of Node.js and Express.js on the left. And each time you browse a website, here it's a desktop browser, obviously, but you can run it on, on any browser you want. It's going through the internet and through the network, and it's showing it on the left uh, in the client list. You just click on one client, and you're starting a debugging session for this specific client. And then you have access to a lot of different features. The first one is the interactive console that you really used to in F12, used, used, to, uh, used to use it in F12. You have uh, on the bottom um, field in which you can type some JavaScript code. It's going to be run on the clients through the network. You have access to an Ajax, pan Ajax panel also, and the resource explorer, which is showing you uh, everything on the device uh, through the internet, uh, I repeat, but it, uh, you, you have access to the local, local storage, the session storage, everything that, that's on the browser at this specific time, and the cookies also. Uh, you have the object explorer showing you all the objects that you have on window on the instance that you're, you're debugging and the values associated to each of these uh, objects. <clears throat> and we used Modernizer to uh, give you a report of what is activated on the browser you're currently testing your web website on. And the, one, the, the, left, the last one that I wanted to talk to you about is best practices. Here you can see that we're running an anal analysis on your website and telling you that maybe you should upgrade your li library that you're using because it's uh, maybe obsolete. There are a lot of other uh, plugins there, which is really great is that it's uh, done by some people from the community also. We only did three of them. And you can feel free to, uh, to test it. So how to use it? It's really easy. The first step is to install it. It's on NPM, so it's really straightforward. And then you have to, uh, when you start it, you have to reference a script, which is generated from the Node.js uh, server running. And it's, uh, you, you add this in your, in your website. And once you've done this, each time you browse your website, it's going to connect to the server and start sending data and displaying it on the dashboard. Or if you don't want or can't, uh, change your website, you can use the proxy. Basically, it's automatically uh, injecting the Volum.js uh, script in it, and then <clears throat> it's working exactly the same. Dynamically, you have the, the uh, website that is going through the proxy, and uh, you can debug it, it easily. Right now, we have dependencies on Windows, so you can only debug websites, but we're working on a new version uh, in which you will be able to debug also Node.js applications. And if you want to contribute, there is a blog post I wrote there. We didn't write documentation because we're developers. Uh, and uh, that's it for me. Thanks for listening, and have a great .js conference. <laughs>